One thing that affects where your dog looks is your movements. And I mean movements that you mean to do and movements that you don't mean to do. So one thing that you might do accidentally is look up and down at your dog, causing your leg to move when you look up and down. Now I'm over, over exaggerating some of that here, but if you watch people look up and down, like when the birds are going off, sometimes the dog's head is moving somewhere you don't want it. Plus, if you're not watching the dog, how do you know where the dog is looking? So uh, you're smart to watch your dog. If you do need to look up or want to look up, try to do so in a manner where it doesn't affect the dog negatively, where you don't move your leg. It's actually kind of hard to do. You have to practice that. Here, I'm doing some purposeful movements that obviously affects where the dog is looking out in the field. So I'm stepping forward and back, moving my legs, and that changes where the dog looks. And I meant to do that. You want all your movements to be purposeful and helpful to the dog, not, not hinder the dog. So here we'll run the marks and I'll show you that, that I like to look down at the dog the whole entire time. And I know where the dog is looking, and I know that I'm not moving accidentally causing them to look somewhere I don't want them to look. Now this mainly goes for field trial and hunt test training.